Okay, take two. Hi everyone, it's Gabrielle and I'm here with my cousin Olivia and we wanted to do the cousins tag because it's Christmas Eve and we wanted to do a video because she's been a, a really good supporter of mine for the longest time ever since I started transitioning. I think we've grown a lot closer, haven't we? Definitely. Definitely and I look at her like a little sister so She's always got her big sister here with her. And we want to do the cousins tag because we are cousins. So we're actually not blood cousins. Yeah, the, she's her family is like my adopted, my mom's adopted family since my mom is Polish and her family is Polish. So my mom um, moved to Canada and then she met, I think she met your mom or no, something like Chacha that. No, Vera. Oh yeah. Because my mom knows, or because Chacha, something with Her Chacha. grandma. Is my grandma's is, no my oh, my grandma's husband, husband is brothers with my great, great was brothers with my great great aunt. Um, she passed away, and so that's I guess how they knew each other from yeah. the beginning. I guess they always I guess we're basically like we're, we family. are we're not blood, but like we're not blood, but we're we're a family. It we're doesn't a family. matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so first question is how and when did you meet? Well, I was born I on February twenty eighth, nineteen ninety nine, and she was born. April 11th, 2001. Two years apart. So, so obviously you In 2001, first. I met her because she did not meet me when I was in the womb because she wasn't born yet. Second is what's your favorite memory together? Okay, so mine is it's always at Christmas. Sometimes it was at Easter, but she used to live in her grandma's house. They like yeah, so I moved five houses down from my old house, <laughs> and then my grandma moved into my old house. So. And so that's where most of the memories are. And I think my favorite is when we would, were younger, and you're like seven, and I was like six, and we just like danced around. Wait, we're two years apart. Or seven of six. What? <laughs> Eight and six. I'm tired. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, you were eight and I was six. Yeah. And we would just like dance around in the basement and like talk about everything, like just like girlfriends do. So yeah. Fun. My favorite memories was probably like when we were younger. We used to have this like <laughs> mental war going on with each other, oh and God. it was really weird because whenever she would come over, it would be like, oh, I don't want to see Olivia. I'm so annoyed with her. I don't like her. Yeah. And like mean. I, we just didn't like each other, and then by the we end, like yeah. But and then by the end of us like being t around at the each end, other, we're like, oh, I don't want to we leave. Like, oh my god, no! Like, and then oh and then it was like once you left, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. And then you would like come over again, and I was just like, <laughs> it was the oh. same thing. Yeah. And then once like I don't know what happened. Once I was like twelve, that ended, and we're just like, oh my god, Bay, hi. Yeah, we, we just we grew a lot closer. Describe each other in one word. How'd you describe? Um, dynamic. How? There's a lot of different parts to you. You're very, uh, like assertive in what you do and what you want. So you'll, you will achieve the things that you want to achieve. You're also very kind of outgoing and, um, and like really funny if you get to know her. I'm pretty sure you can be kind of shy. If you get to know me, otherwise I'm just like really weird, so. Yeah, no, but you, there's a lot of different, um, aspects to you as person and um yeah I would describe you as dynamic and one that's my my one mm -hmm. word that I would describe you as I would describe you as either bold unique or confident just because like there's no one else like her obviously <laughs> like just one of a kind well we're all like that we're all one of a kind but, like you're special <laughs> I am very special. Like, she, it's just because, like, she doesn't care what other people think, and, like, lots of people, they'll always, like, have what everyone else thinks of them in mind, but, like, I don't think you really have that. Like, and if you do, it doesn't show, because, like, she just, like, she does what she wants, and, like, whatever's best for her, and she, like, makes time for herself, but also thinks about others, so she's just very, like... I think I'm also growing a lot as yeah. a soul. I've become much more spiritual. And in touch with that, a lot. I, I have really, I've grown a lot as a person and I mean, I'm continuing to do that. I'm continuing to 
um, learn about my purpose on earth and I think that I like who you are and all yeah and I think it goes much deeper than just um, not thinking about what people think I think yeah. it goes much more it's as, like you look beyond that and like I look at the bigger picture and, and what's this going to benefit for me and how are these experiences going to help me grow as a person so yeah of course I don't care what other people think but at the same time I always do take that into account and I think of how is this situation going to benefit me and how is this going to make me the person that I want to become you have like so, a bigger outlook yeah so number four is what's your dream job Oh my god, for you, I think you would be like a vet. <laughs> no. What? I swear you always wanted to go to vet school. No, I don't want to be a vet. I don't want to be a vet. Oh, a social down. worker. No, I I used to want to be that. Okay, that's anymore. why. I don't I don't yeah, remember. No, I we wanna... never ever talk about what <laughs> no. we want to do. We're just like, let's grow up. <laughs> let's just, yeah. Um, I want to be a humanitarian. I, I thought that's what a vet was. <laughs> It's what's for a animals. What's a humanitarian like, like the UN and stuff? Humanitarian is basically someone who works in the government, and you are a human rights activist. And for me, I would like be specific. oh child trafficking. Yeah, kind of like yeah, I would be for child marriage, and like I would try and stop that, and like save girls, and like, you know, just go to different countries and try and help with that type of situation, and end it once and for all. For you. <laughs> You want to be like everything. Okay, you change. Okay, you'd be like a type of writer, definitely. Like I know you're gonna write, and then also like you like, but not just like writing. You also like to write like music and like stuff like that. Sing. And yeah, you like to sing. I have an album that I'm working on right She's now. She's like an artist in like so many different ways. Like you're just, I would just call you an artist, just because you're yeah. a makeup artist. You like visual arts. There. I'm also really into psychology and philosophy actually. You are very philosophical. More into philosophy and um... What's the meaning of life? Yeah, basically. A lot of people would not She's expect that from me. Person, but so. um, I think that 2015 has brought a lot of change in my life. You're a lot deeper than you used to be. And I, I, but I, and I want to continue to get deeper. I want to really get to the core of my purpose in this world and how I can benefit from other people's um, relations to me. Um, so I really, I don't know what my dream job is because I, I feel like it's always like, changing I as that, I develop as a person. I think you'll have like an artistic job and then like, uh, just like when you're at home and just like for yourself, you'll have some sort of like philosophy type like hobby. Yeah. Like, you'll probably just like read a lot at home. I think philosophy. I'll be on YouTube doing that. Yeah, you'll, she'll probably be like a YouTuber I actually, or something I like just, that. I just actually wrote up a script about my first um, kind of venture into talking about um, philosophy and all those things. And it's about creating healthy friendships. And um, get ready for that because I'm going to be completely rebranding myself in 2016. So, um, Number five is what's your favorite makeup brand? Yours. Okay, the reason I'm saying Anastasia Beverly Hills is because you love your eyebrows. Yeah. Even though you think they're horrible, and I don't see that. Like, they, they look beautiful. Because I don't pluck my brows, so, like, I just kind of, like, went over I haven't it. plucked my brows in, like, three millenniums. <laughs> I just don't care like, about... I love Anastasia because of their contouring kit and the, yeah, the, like, the dip brow. Um, you... I'm getting the cream contouring kit. You used to be really into mac but i know you're kind of like growing out of that yeah. you like um what's it called oh my god i know it i know it i know it like because you think like their palettes are like pigmented what is it oh my god oh my god wait don't tell me it don't starts with me. an m i know I, I i honestly know it like don't tell me i know it and like i was raving about this the other day what is it called Morphe, Morphe. She loves Morphe. I, I love Morphe so much. You like Morphe brushes, their palettes, whatever the heck else they do. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, I love Morphe. Completely affordable. Um, they have some really good shadows. Um, their palettes are great. They have great brushes and really affordable. I also really. I love... can't afford Anastasia, so <laughs> I dream. But oh my gosh! Um, I also really love Kat Von D. Her whole entire um, line is great. Um, <laughs> number six, what is something that annoys you about the other person? Um, for me, I think what annoys me is that you're always like 
talking bad about yourself. You always talk down on yourself and like, oh, I'm, I'm so ugly and I have a pimple and it's like, it doesn't matter. I get insecure sometimes. I just, that's what I don't like. I don't like hearing you talk down upon yourself. Mm -hmm. it, it, literally, it, it makes me angry. I'm like, stop. <laughs> You're literally perfect and it's mean. Oh my gosh, so nice to me, what? <laughs> Um, okay, for you, I don't, hmm, so I can't, like, think of it, like, where you'll probably just, like, do something, I'll be, like, <laughs> like, something little, like, something stupid, like, I don't know, just, like, you, like, taking my food or something, I don't know, it would be something little, because she doesn't, like, do anything big, like, it's not like she's, like, <laughs> mean to me or, like, I don't know. I guess I'm can kind of just get like that like that tick that you just like get away from me. <laughs> but then you're like, I love you. <laughs> like it's probably just like she steals my food or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But you took my bread today. This is revenge for all the other times. Listen, that bread is my actual life. It tastes so it's good. Mine too. Okay, number it's seven nice. is if you could go anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? Okay, we're sitting on three because I know you know what it is. One, One two, two, three. three. Paris. Paris. Yeah, we go to Paris. I am completely obsessed with Paris and France. Any movie that I've ever watched that I actually love has something to do with Paris or France. Um, blue is the warmest color. That's really good. And um, The Hunted for a Journey are some of my favorite movies. And they're all French. Like, The Hunted for a Journey isn't French, but it's based in a French place, village. But... <laughs> But blue is the warmest color is completely French and very gay. <laughs> I just love Paris because like so much tourism. Shopping. Yeah. Don't even shopping. Lie. Shopping, you would go obviously. For the shopping. Like the tourism, like not even just in Paris, but in France in general. I would go like, to the Palace of Versailles. Yeah, that's that's my dream. Like I I for I like I had this phase in my life in like grade eight, I think, and I was like just raving about like Marie Antoinette. And I was just like reading up on her and like just watching, I knew like, about trying her. to watch all the movies about her. That was like, me in grade three, and I was so fascinated yeah. by the fact that she got her head cut off. <laughs> I was fascinated. I was like, I was like, how did she, how did they cut her head I off? I was just fascinated that like of how like human she is, because you think like when you see like famous people or like royalty that they're not like they're just like special like humans, but like they're just human beings. It's like wow, like, and her life was rough too because she had so much pressure. But yeah, she didn't end up being a great queen and. Next question is a uh, favorite song. Your favorite song at the moment? I think your favorite song right now is like... Oh, you hate my music. <laughs> I literally don't even know what you listen to. Melanie Martinez, something Melanie Martinez. Yeah, actually. Yeah, probably just like her whole album, Cry Baby. I've been listening to it. What about Baby. me? You listen to like everything. Well, you were just listening to like 2006, like Fergie. <laughs> Fergie and Christina Aguilera, but I also really love Image and Heat. Yeah. My favorite song at the moment is like, I love prom song Gone Wrong by Lana Del Rey. That was the one you were, we were listening to. Oh, that's good. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know the words. I'm so fake. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate everyone watching my videos and um, yeah, can't wait to have more up soon and uh, give a thumbs up for Olivia because she's really cool. Daddy's holding our the, the presents up. Come say hi to the camera. This is my little brother. This is, this is Jacob everyone. He is, oh you can put He's your He's five on. years old and he's a fun, he's a fun guy. Say hi, Jacob. We're happy family. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you. And stay beautiful. Bye.